Hello again, fellow patriots. This is the third in my series concerning my upcoming presidency. I'm going to go over a few things that I didn't quite cover on the second video installment. One item was about my vice president. Now, as I said before, I'm not going to reveal the identity of my vice president at this time. However, you might ask, well, how about Rush Limbaugh or Glenn Beck or Sean Hannity? These are the three men that I respect, but I would not have had them as a vice president because I need them to continue doing what they are doing now. I will not be able to see everything that goes on and I need men that I can trust to advise me of things that are happening that I may not know about. Getting back to uh, Gitmo uh, several things. I know the ACLU will probably raise a big fuss, uh, but my plans include that the only TV they will have access to during their internment <clears throat> will be uh, Fox News. And the only radio they'll be able to hear would be Conservative talk radio. I think that alone is fine punishment for these uh, people who have done so much to harm the American people. Okay. Oh, and no conjugal visits either. Now, Barney, if you have to find someone there, we may have to do a little bit of isolation. On to the economy. New items. I plan to save a lot of money basically on myself. I will not be accepting a presidential salary. Instead, I would just ask for an expense account to take care of basic needs. I can do my own cooking, my own laundry. I don't need a lot of fancy stuff. Uh, no having to have a bunch of special agents watching over someone going to the grocery store like uh, Michelle Obama. <laughs> okay. I'm writing I wrote some things down, so hopefully I won't forget too many things. Oh, yes. Now, I will not be taking a lot of unnecessary trips. That will save a lot of money. Uh, I have no idea how much money Obama will have spent on all his flying hither, thither, and yon around the world, across the United States, going to this function, that function, campaign mode, day in and day out, week in, week out. Don't see the need for that. If necessary, I would rely on teleconferencing. I don't see need for the people of this nation to see my face and hear my voice a dozen times a week. Not necessary. Now, I don't have the Obama ego. So, that'll save a few bucks. Let's see now. Since we'll no longer be in the UN, that will save us, you know, about a billion dollars annually. I will be saving another ten billion dollars annually, since we're not going to be giving that to the thieves and Denmark, their man-made climate change scam. 
Hmm. Okay, bills. Recently, they passed some uh, legislation. It was a defense appropriation. And they managed to put on, let's see, about four billion dollars in earmarks. As president, I would not allow such amendments to be placed on a bill. A bill will stand by itself. These things that various legislators have put on, tacked on, ridiculous, have no place in defense appropriations. Defense appropriations should take care of feeding, caring for the soldiers, taking care of the transportation, the weaponry, those kind of things. Not a lot of the garbage is on this list. For example, nearly 19 million dollars for the Edward M. Kennedy Institute for the Senate. I'm tired of having to fit the bill for someone whose family is loaded to the gills. It's a shame the person who offered that amendment, that earmark. Okay, $20 million for the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. Get your money someplace else. This is not directly involved in the defense of our nation. Five dollars for, I'm sorry, five million dollars for a heritage center at San Francisco's historic Presidio. That's thanks to Nancy Pelosi. Hey, Nancy, you want to do something there? Get five million bucks out of your own bank account. You've got it. Let's see, $300 million to improve the Maryland and Virginia area transportation system. $23 million for the Hawaii Healthcare Network. That's national defense. $76.5 million. I see John Murtha has the 23 earmarks. $83.7 million. Bill Young with 36 earmarks. Now, the thing is, People from both sides of the aisle had their hands out getting money for their home, their local districts, their states, whatever. This is ridiculous. The only thing in a defense appropriations bill should be things that are directly related to the defense. We hear so much about these hundreds and thousands of pages in individual bills which take a lawyer to read and understand. I will not sign any bill that I can't read and understand myself. I mean, this, the stuff that we had to put up with, a bunch of highfalutin people running things, we got so many thieves in Washington, so many corrupted people. I'm going to clean house when I get to Washington. More videos to follow. God bless America.